We began by teaching you how to strategically communicate with your programmer, both communicating efficiently with the email subjects and details, as well as focusing in on providing unique content directly from the contractor where either yourself or your website company could help further optimize it for inbound leads. And now we're going to get a little technical. It's called XML sitemap, and it's really not that scary. It's simply an easy way to inform search engines about the pages that are on your website that are available for crawling. Search engines have these web crawlers that will read your website and figure out ways on how to best organize them for search results. And a lot of times what you'll have heard in the past is that search engines traditionally will look at uh, various different links to your site inside your own website as well as external to your website to learn about your site but also the site maps help supplement how they learn about your your website and the best way is to educate you is to do a quick visual and let's make believe you were looking at mywebsite.com and behind the scenes there was a file called sitemap uh, underscore index XML and basically it's a listing of all the different structures and in this case I'm just highlighting uh, took this from a customer and quickly changed it where they have a sitemap for their testimonials and a sitemap for their portfolio and it shows that this section of their site was last modified uh, um, in a day ago and there's other details behind it but here's a quick listing of the different structures of a particular website and it's all held within a file type called XML. For you people who would like to venture into more details about this stuff, there's basically three different places you can go. One is directly towards sitemaps.org. There's another popular reference called Moz, M -O -Z com that teaches all about marketing and search engine optimization topics. And if you jump to chapter eight, on this particular URL that's in front of you, you'll see that it starts off with common search engine protocols and it, the first topic it talks about is sitemaps and out of the different permutations of sitemaps that one can learn about or implement, XML, which by the way stands for Extensible Markup Language, the recommended format, which is the most widely accepted format for sitemap strategies for the search engines. And there's another popular uh, place that we like to go to learn advanced uh, theories called search engine land uh, dot com but the point is to simply speak to your programmer and ask them if they're properly implementing an XML sitemap and if you're doing this on your own to just be aware of these resources because it's really not that difficult to implement on your own website so in summary the three things that we've gotten up to now is communicating efficiently with the email subjects and file details organized correctly, making sure that you provide unique content, and also just being aware from a technical perspective that your XML sitemap is being updated periodically. Keep in mind, depending on how you're finding this video, it's a part of the basic education series. And if you're at the point now where you're thinking about taking your website and completely uh, redoing it to what's called a responsive web design, and you want to add a visual component that is visible on a desktop, a tablet, and a smartphone, and you also at the same time want to implement uh, SEO, search engine optimization strategies, please reach out to myonlinetoolbox.com. We have a lot of free education. We have a popular uh, basic education series as well as an advanced education series. And if you need a high level marketing plan to help strategize where you're going to go before you actually even consider the website, consider our diamond marketing plan. Thank you.